Hello everyone, I'm back. So, looked at this painting and molded it over and I'm like, God, what did I do? Was not happy with it. So, what I'm gonna do is, I've seen other videos and other artists, save it, save a painting that they were not happy with, with a swipe. So, I'm gonna give that a try. Um, I'm going to be using the Lamp Black from Creative Inspirations with no silicone. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to layer, layer a line of paint up the top of the canvas. Go with a little more. And again, I was not happy with the end result. Um, so what I've done after consulting the coach is decided um, going to try to save this with a swipe. Um, and like I said, I've seen it in other videos. Other artists have done this also. And so I'm going to see what kind of result I get from this. So I put my black down. I've taken a paper towel, which I've wetted. Uh, I want to make sure that I get the entire surface of the painting covered with the paper towel. And all I'm going to do is start up at the one edge. And pull that black down over the canvas interesting design here okay a little more paint up on this edge because I actually took all the paint off the edge of the canvas So don't be afraid to try new techniques. That's one way you learn. I hear a lot of people in the live say, oh, I wanted to try that or I'm going to try it. Be bold. Give it an attempt. See what happens. What's the worst thing that can happen? You paint over your canvas. 
or you wipe it off. And just tilt that, get that excess paint that I poured on there off. Again, I put that black on because um, when I had done the, the uh, swipe from the beginning, uh, I actually pulled the entire paint that was laying there down with the paper towel. So I had to do something so that that canvas would not be Would not be blank. So what I want to do is try to pull some of this paint down. that doesn't succeed maybe you have an airbrush that can help you out on the very end Okay, still not getting the results that I wanted or expected, so I'm pulling I'm pulling the coach off the bench. Uh, she's gonna come in and try to help me save this uh, with uh, a little collaborative work from and from her area of expertise, which is the airbrush. <coughs> hey guys, the struggle was real. Right, Alan? <laughs> okay. Let me get some gloves on and let's see what we can do with this. He's got a pretty good base for me to play with. So I'm going to flip this puppy around towards me. Let me give it a quick torch real quick though and see what we got underneath here. I'm just curious to know how many people have had similar results and not had someone to go back to and say, help. Well, that's when you save these for background paintings and you figure out something to paint on them. Okay, Missy Allen. <laughs> okay, let me see how thick you are here. What color flowers you want, Alan? Well, I think you need some blue orchids and some yellow sunflowers and I'm not sure. <laughs> You're not sure. Let's try yellow and see what happens.
looked like a doggy footprint for a second. <laughs> you want all yellow? I think you need to go with like a, a red, a darker red in the center. A darker red, huh? Well, a, a bright dark red. And and an orange, but you got orange down in this part too. Purple. Let's go purple. If you guys don't have an airbrush, you can do this with a straw, too. What do you think? I just need centers. Um, I'm seeing a dinosaur head in here. <laughs> you always see something. Honestly, look at there's his teeth right there, his eyes right there. good thing is if we're still not happy with it we can always not let anybody know that this was made but we're trying to also teach you how to recover from accidents accidents this this was an accident this was not the intended <laughs> result what kind of accident train wreck I didn't say train wreck <laughs> there's not a lot of uh, uh, red on the painting so that's because you love red I do love red I know red blends with other colors so you don't always get the red that you're looking for well that's how I got these pinks up in here notice I didn't put any green on this either you put yeah. purple there though we have green in through here that's where your colors mix together um, I like this gold. I had some embellishing skills. I would form that head of that dinosaur <laughs> running through this flower, flower patch. <laughs> well, there's my little collab with you. I can't get it out of the light. Without getting the glare. Right. That'll dry a lot darker, those colors will anyway. 
But there you go, guys. Thank you, hon. You're welcome, sweetheart. You are my boo. I would do anything for you. Including <laughs> scold me when I make mistakes, okay. which I did. It's I admit all, it. It's all you. I didn't scold you. No, no, not yet. <laughs> but uh, <coughs> please, uh, if you haven't subscribed, um, go ahead and click the subscribe button down below. Click like and share. Leave any comments that you may have. Uh, check out our Amazon shop for any supplies, art supplies that you would need with the links below. Check out my wife's channel. Christina has several tutorials and links on everything from mixing paints to packing up your paintings for shipment. Uh, join us every Monday night at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for our live uh, paint pourings and tutorials and question answering. Uh, we have some great moderators that do a great job for us. Uh, in assisting us in, in putting on the Monday Night Lives. We'd just like to thank them. And don't forget to check out our auction starting at 7 p.m. Sunday night, December 9th. We will have approximately 40 paintings uh, that will be going up for auction. A video will be coming out shortly on Christina's channel uh, giving you a preview of the paintings that will be up for auction. Uh, any links that you may need if you haven't joined already, um, we have the Paraj Posse. Uh, go ahead and check us out on the Paraj Posse. And as always, have a great night and thank you for joining. Good night.